everybody, Mama Minecraft here. I've got little V on the side. Hi! And today we're going to add into our spring land. Before we get started though, it started to rain and the sun started to go down. Uh, let it cycle through. Make sure you're on a bright sunny day. And then go into with your no rain. With no rain. Make sure it's not raining when you change these options. Otherwise it will stay raining and it will stay dark. So you go to the host privileges and you can turn off the cycle of the day and you can turn off weather cycle. That way it will be like, stay bright and sunny and um, you can easily work in your land. But you have to change those options when you've saved it bright and sunny. So we're going to head into our spring land. And what are we building today, V? A mama daisy and a daughter daisy. Yeah, we're going to do two daisies. So we need to add to what we've got to work with here so we're going to head into our supplies by hitting square and we're going to grab um, emerald and quartz so white and green you can use whatever blocks you want we just need white and green for our daisies and then just hit a circle to exit back out now we're going to both be making um, two different daisies next to each other here where's our sun at that we built last time there's our sun up in the sky. So I'd like to build our daisies kind of under the sun. What do you think? Yeah. Sound like a good idea? All right. So I'm going to place down just one of your daisy stems here, V, for you to build off of. So you've got a good idea of where to start. Yeah. Okay. And V is going to be doing hers eight, eight spaces tall. Now I'm going to come off to the side here. And make my daisy whoop off to the side. I want to make sure I have enough room so we don't run into each other. And I'm going to be making mine 12 tall. One. If you double tap your X in creative mode, it makes it so you can fly. Well, we don't have to put six. I don't. Mom, I think you do. Well, you probably were already flying. So you can make your daisies as tall as you want. We just want to have ours to be a nice little pair. Mama, Dada, Daisies. Oh, and maybe I'm a little far away. No, maybe not. Do you think mine's too far away, honey? Yes. All right, I'll move mine a little bit closer. Let's, let's do that again right about here. And make sure you tell your blocks when you're doing it so you do how high you want it to be. Yep, so I've got mine again here, and I'm going to get rid of this one. Bless you. Thank you. All right. Six, seven, eight. Okay, so we've got our two. That's better. That looks better, closer together like that. Yeah. All right, now on top of our stems, we're going to start with our petals. Now, this is going to be similar to the sun tutorial that we did. We're going to start with our bottom petal. Now I'm going to make mine five tall. V is going to make hers four tall. Again, just pick what size of daisy you want to make. The structure is exactly the same and the process is going to be the same. We're going to make the center of our daisies now by placing one yellow or gold, I should say. And on top of that gold, we're going to make three golds. One. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, one more single mm. gold. Oh, good thing I did mine in front. Mine's going to be in front of the sun. Should we start them someplace else, or do you think it's okay if it's in front of the sun like this? What do you think? Is mine in front of the sun? Yours is going to be a little bit lower, but mine's going to be in front of the sun. Maybe I should build mine off to the right-hand side of yours. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to do that. Well, I want it by the sun, so that's... Yeah, I want mine by the sun, too, but not in front of it. So why don't you pause where you're at. I'm going to speed this up. I'm going to delete mine and get right back to where I left off here. I'm just basically going to move this whole thing off to the other side of the sun. All right, so I just moved my flower off to the side of the sun so that I didn't end up covering the whole sun with my design. So V's adding the center to her flower over here. I've got one more block to place over here for the center of mine. Once you have your center on there, you're going to do the same amount 
of white as you use for your petals. So I've got five, these got four over here. We're gonna go straight up the top with that. Um, yes? Is that the whole middle? Nope, you need one more gold block on top, right in the center. And then you'll do four whites up from your center, okay? Now, while she's placing those, I'm gonna place my side petals. So I'm gonna go five off each side of my center. What? Mm -hmm. That's a lot. That's yawn. Uh-huh, I think we're gonna end up right next to each other. Oh, this is gonna be so cute. So V, go ahead and make yours off to your sides as well. Okay, everybody, we had a storage issue, and so our video kind of stopped while we were playing. We continued to build petals on our flowers. I'm going to show you how to make the diagonal ones. Since, whoops, since you can't actually make uh, your diagonal ones float, we're going to use, why is it clicking like that? Um, We're going to use these blue blocks to build off of to create our diagonal petals. And we use a nice blue block because it stands out. You can tell the difference really easily. And so once we get our five petals going up diagonally, we just come back and delete, or break, I should say, the blue blocks. So there we go. And our daisies are touching. They're like holding hands, which I totally love. Don't you think that's so cute, V? Yeah. So last, what we're gonna do is add on some leaves on the bottom, and we're gonna use the same process. V's gonna add a couple leaves on hers, and I'll add a couple leaves on mine here. Just start by putting one green block on the side of your stem, and then you're gonna use the blue, just the same. So we'll put a blue block next to it, and then you can put a green on top. Now I'm going to do four blocks for my leaves, and I think three will look good for V's. So I'm gonna work through mine here. And the same thing, once you've got the, the leaf finished, you can break your blue blocks. And I like to alternate mine. So I'm gonna have one lower and one a little bit higher. Me too. How much did I do? Two. Just like that. Deal. Why don't you do your second one down lower? Yeah. I'll take care of your blue blocks for you. Oh, we both did it together. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I'll place blue blocks for you if you want to do your greens. So go ahead and put a green one on the stem there. Perfect. And I'll put a blue one on for you. Oh, no. Put a green one on top of it. Put a green one <laughs> There we go. One, two. Ah. I keep placing extra blocks. Put one on top of that blue. And let's back up and check out our daisies. Whoop. Oh, they're so fun. I love these giant daisies. What do you think, V? Me too. All right. And remember when we made it our dummy days? The baby part the same. Right. So if you missed the sun tutorial, make sure to check it out. We'll link to it below. Uh, next time we come back, we'll be adding to our Springland. We've got some other fun ideas coming your way. We might do some giant tulips. I'm thinking about a caterpillar, maybe butterflies and rainbows. So we're just going to keep adding in this fun <laughs> land. So we hope you follow along and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss a video. Say bye, bye Bye!